Hi Notion is. There's two apps that make a huge difference to my productivity. The first is the browser Arc and the second is Raycast. I'll save my video about Arc for another day because today I want to introduce you to Raycast, particularly because they've just released a big update to their Notion extension and I've partnered with them to show you what you can do with it. In case you're not familiar with Raycast, Raycast is like Spotlight on Mac, which is that search bar that appears when you press your spacebar and command, except I never use Spotlight, whereas I use Raycast at least 100 times a day. Seriously. So let's start by taking a look at the Notion extension. The Raycast Notion extension has a few different commands. So if we just type in Notion there, you can see those listed at the top of the window. And if we have a look at the search Notion command, first of all, then you can see that there's two different sections of this list of search results. At the top of the window, we've got our recently opened pages. And then in this section just here, we can see the pages in our workspace that have been edited most recently. So this works a little bit like the launcher that you would use in Notion if you use command K there. But because we're using Raycast here, we can open our Notion pages from wherever we are on our Mac. So if I was rushing to join a meeting, for example, and I needed to quickly open my meetings database to start recording notes about that particular meeting, then all I'd need to do is type in meetings into the search bar there, hit return, and that's going to open the meetings database for me. Once I've had that meeting, if I need to search my meetings database to find the notes from that particular meeting, I can just hit command and return whilst I'm hovering my mouse over the meetings database just there. And that's going to allow me to drill down in my search results and just focus on the contents of the meetings database. So that's one example of where this functionality is more powerful than Notion's inbuilt feature, because obviously you can't usually narrow down your search results like that unless you're already in the database page in Notion. Once I found that meeting page, if I need to share it with a colleague, then usually I would have to go to the share menu or the URL bar and copy the link to that page. And when I paste that into Slack or my chat app, then it's not gonna be formatted very nicely. But in Raycast, in this extension, we can just use Command K to open the actions menu here and type in copy. And if we go down to copy formatted URL and just paste that URL into the page now, you can see that that's inserted the name of the page for us and automatically hyperlink that text to give us a much nicer looking link to share with our colleagues. One thing that's worth mentioning here is, as I'm sure you've guessed, I do all of my work in Notion in Arc. But if you do use the Notion desktop app, then the default option for this extension is actually to open these pages in the desktop app. So you'll still be able to do that if you prefer. Another thing this command gives us is a quicker way to create pages in our Notion databases from anywhere on our Mac. So if we type in Notion there again and create database page, this window is going to open with the database where I most recently created a page selected automatically. So if I do want to add a task to my task database, I can just call this task five. And one of the really nice features of this command is, as you can see there, the links to the pages in my related database have been automatically loaded for me in advance. So I don't have to wait for that list to load in the same way that I would in Notion. Using this extension sometimes feels a little bit like using Superhuman to manage your emails. I won't link to a parent task there, but I can add a summary. And then if we go down to priority, this list of options here obviously has been fetched from my Notion database. And it's even got the color coding in there that we used when we defined our select properties. Then if we go to choose a date, as you know, Notion's date picker is pretty slow when you're using it. But here we can choose our dates much more easily. So if we wanted to set the due date to next Friday, for example, Raycast is smart enough to know which date I'm referring to there. So I can just hit enter. We can choose a status for my task, an assignee, and that's probably all we need there. The other thing I'm going to do though is add some notes in the body of my new task page. And this window gives us a preview of our markdown formatting. So here we're just using the same markdown formatting as we would when we're working in our Notion pages when we want to format our text quickly. And so if we had a bullet uh, point that we just wanted to add and another, 
then that's all we need to do there to create the notes for our task. So now when I hit command and return, that's going to create the page. If I use command and T, then that's going to give me this little pop-up window here, which allows me to open the page straight away or copy the link to the page if I want to share it with somebody else. So if we just choose open page there, then we can see this is the page that I've just created. We've got all of the details that I populated in that form and the nicely formatted notes that I added while I was creating that page. And this command works with any database in Notion. You don't have to sort of pre-configure it at all. It's smart enough to know which properties you have in which databases automatically. So it's definitely worth getting the extension just for this, for whenever you want to quickly add pages to your Notion database. And the Notion extension is not the only thing that I use Raycast for, of course. One of Raycast's other best features is its inbuilt AI functionality. I personally use GPT-4 all the time for things like writing code or translations, um, and also when I'm doing something like planning a trip. And if I didn't have Raycast, that would mean switching from one tab to another or one app to another in order to access ChatGPT. But with Raycast, all I need to do is open the Raycast window and hit tab. And that takes me straight into the quick AI window right here where I can ask the AI my question. So let's say I did need to translate this is awesome into French. That's all I need to do there. And I've got my translation as quickly as that. So when you need to ask quick questions, you have an easy way to do that. But what if you want to ask follow up questions or have basically a more detailed discussion with the AI? Well, all you need to do from here is use command J to pop open the chat window and then you can carry on the conversation just there. So to show you some of my previous chats I've had this week, uh, if I wanted a two day itinerary for exploring Paris, for example, then we've got my first question here and a nicely formatted response just here. And then I've got a follow up question just there. And again, a nicely formatted response just there. Once the AI has replied with that text, if I need to use it elsewhere, all I need to do is hit Command K and then just choose which action I want to do. So the default action for me is to paste the response into Arc, just like that. And as you probably saw, you can also just copy this to your clipboard if you need to use it somewhere else. I've actually set up a keyboard shortcut so that I can quickly access that AI window. So if I just use Option and A, then that's going to reopen that window for me. At the moment, this is Raycast pricing for the AI functionality. So if you subscribe for $8 a month when you pay annually, then you can use GPT 3.5, or if you pay another $8 a month, then you can use GPT 4, which is actually cheaper than subscribing to the OpenAI Pro service. Lastly, I just thought I'd take this chance to show you a few more of my favorite Raycast commands. So the things that I use Raycast for most often are launching apps. So if I wanted to open my notes app, for example, then all I need to do is type in notes there and Raycast already knows which apps I have installed on my Mac. So we can just hit return there to open that particular app. I'm a big fan of emoji, so I can open my emoji picker just by using control, command and spacebar. And this extension allows you to quickly search the emoji using the same keywords that you would use in Slack or when you're using iMessage, for example. But it also has a list of frequently used emoji at the top of the window just there. And you can easily select those using your arrow key so that loads quicker than Apple's built-in emoji picker and it's easier to use. The clipboard history is super useful. So if you're like me, you probably find that there's lots of times when you've copied something and then you copy something else and you realize that now you can't access the thing that you previously copied. In Raycast, you can access your clipboard history going back a very long time. You can even search it so that you can find something that you copied a while ago. So this extension basically works as a way to have a backup to find so many of the things that you shared between apps or with somebody else in the past. Quick links are another really useful feature. You can actually create a quick link for one of the pages that you found through Notion Search. So if I know that I'm going to open my meetings database regularly, once I've selected that database in my search results, I can choose this option here to save that link as a quick link. If I hit return there, it allows me to give that link a title and choose where it should be opened. And once I've done that, all I need to do is type meetings into my search bar and that's going to bring up that quick link for me. 
and I've got dozens of these quick links saved now. So let's say I want to see ARC's release notes, then all I need to do is type in ARC there and hit return. And that's gonna open up that page for me so I can quickly check what exciting goodies they've just released. The calculator is super useful. Uh, it gives you a quick way to do calculations, obviously. But also, if you type in calculator uh, history, then you can see all of the previous calculations that you've done there and access those nice and easily. If I go down to my pins command, then I can access particular folders in my files nice and quickly. And lastly, if I'm joining a meeting at the last minute and I need to join a Zoom call or a Google Meet call, I've connected Raycast to my calendar. So when I pop open my Raycast window, it has the link to the video call at the top of the window there. So I can just hit return and join the video call straight away. I could go on and on about all the things that I use Raycast for for a lot longer, but hopefully that's given you a good flavor of what's possible. If you have any questions about using Raycast or the Notion extension, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And stick around because I'll be sharing more videos about how I use my favorite productivity apps very soon.